If I had a dollar for every time someone asked me to make a video for this weapon, I wouldn't need to make a video for this weapon. But seriously, what's going on everyone, and welcome back to a brand new episode of Watch in Action. I hope you're having a good week, and I'm your gracious, handsome host, Bows Phoenix. Today we're taking a look at one of the most requested weapons on my channel, the Vacor Heck. The Vacor Heck is the syndicate version of the Grenier Made Shotgun, the Heck, and can be purchased from Steel Meridian at a max rank for 125,000 standing. If you aren't in Steel Meridian, don't worry, you can still buy this from another player. No matter how you acquire it though, you still have to be Mastery Rank 12 to use it. As for the stats, you'll notice that the base damage and status chance between the two are exactly the same. The big difference, however, comes in the form of the whopping 15% critical chance increase from the regular heck to the Vacor heck. This means that instead of a pure damage build, we'll be modding for a crit build. Let's take a look at that. The Forma investment for the Vacor heck is pretty steep. The build I'm using requires 5 Forma, but that's mostly because I'm using two primed mods, which are very expensive in the capacity department. Now, please note that this is my build. You're free to use whatever you want on this weapon, but know that I've tested this build a ton, and I know that it works in just about every situation I could think of to put it through. As for the setup itself, I'm going with Primed Point Blank, which is basically serration for shotguns. It adds a straight up damage boost across the board. If you don't have the primed version, use the regular version instead. Primed Ravage is the second mod on this build and offers massive critical damage increases with no downside. Again, use the regular non-primed version if you don't have this. Seeking Fury is a personal preference mod on this build. If you really want to squeeze more damage out of this weapon, consider swapping this out with a Blaze, which, depending on the situation, I actually do sometimes. Hell's Chamber is the last mod on the top row and simply gives us multi-shot, which is a must for shotguns. They have an innate high pellet count already, so it doesn't make sense to not add to that. In the bottom row, our first mod is Laser Sight. This is an event mod that increases our critical chance whenever we get a headshot. Headshots with a shotgun are kinda tricky, but the Vacor Heck has a very tight spread, making this a lot more viable. If you still don't like it though, swap it out for Shrapnel Shot, which increases your crit damage whenever you kill something. Next, I've left space for two elemental mods. These can be whatever you want for whatever faction you're fighting. I'm just using Corrosive as a placeholder. The last mod on this build is Blunderbuss. All that does is increase our critical chance, and it's a nice final mod to round out the build with. Moving over to the Simulacrum, I want to show you what this weapon can do. Since most of this weapon's base damage is made up of the Puncture Physical Damage type, it excels at taking down armored opponents. That's why for today's test, we're using Corrupted Gunners and Lancers at level 100. They have a good deal of armor and are notoriously difficult to take down. As you can see in the footage though, this monster of a weapon isn't having too tough of a time hacking its way through these guys. I think it goes without saying that the Vacor Heck is one hell of a shotgun, and the build I'm using ensures you'll be ready to face a myriad of situations. And that about covers it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I do apologize for the wait on it. If you've been interested in seeing more builds like this, head over to BowsPhoenix.com. It's the website I've put together and have been working on for the past 8 months with the help of some very awesome friends. Just make sure to whitelist the website in your ad block if you visit. I don't use pop-up ads, so you won't be bombarded with anything. Also, if you enjoy the content I create, consider pledging to my Patreon. Even a dollar a month helps out tremendously. And lastly, if you're new here, consider subscribing. I put out content like this, as well as some other stuff, on a daily basis. And as always, thank you so much for watching.